this is uh, really quite an honor for the city to be named uh, one of the, uh, the seven intelligent communities up for that award and for one community, Scott Rourke in particular, to be named Intelligent Community Visionary of the Year. Can you tell us a little why Scott and one community in, in Cleveland were, were awarded this? Well, let's start with Scott. Um, we've been doing a Visionary of the Year award um, every year since, I think, 2002 and people have won it like the Minister of Communications of the Nation of Afghanistan of all places. So Afghanistan certainly has its challenges. This fellow was responsible for bringing in a modern communications network that made it possible to make a cell phone call in Afghanistan and to connect all the government offices and to bring, you know, connect it to the rest of the planet. And it made possible the first democratic election. Uh, we've given it to the communications minister of Mexico who put his, got a program is responsible for a program that he today I think has connected 6,000 Mexican schools to the internet via satellite. And so bringing to these you know, rural villages things they've never seen before. Um, Scott was selected on two, on two bases, two different fronts. One was, frankly, just for the incredible record of performance that, that one community has had. We first saw one community back in 2006 when uh, Cleveland was one of our top seven intelligent communities. And what the what one community had was a great vision, some very smart strategies, and the start of performance against those strategies, the start of accomplishments. Two years later, we look back, and you know, you're now you're, the accomplishments are starting to enter the newspapers. Now we're getting major contract awards, we're building networks, we're doing all the things that they set out to do. So that's one half of it, um, and that's very much worth saluting. But the thing that we really honor is that that Scott in particular has not kept the knowledge to himself. We're all about sharing knowledge. So Scott has actually, and his team, have gone out to communities in the United States and overseas and said, this is how we did it. Here's the problems we saw. Here's how we solved those problems. Maybe there's something here for you to learn. And that's, that exemplifies what ICF stands for. So he was an easy choice this year. He was a very easy choice.